And we are counting. This is Atlas Mission Control, T minus three minutes, 55 seconds, and counting. Ground pyros enabled. This is Atlas Mission Control, T minus three minutes, 25 seconds and counting. Again, the uh, launch vehicle, spacecraft, ground systems, the weather, and the range are all in a go status for picking up the countdown at 1.55 a.m. Eastern Time, 6.55 Greenwich Mean Time. And we're inside three minutes now. Once the rocket Atlas lifts off, it will... flight pressure. Securing Atlas LO2. Once the rocket lifts off, it will take about 45 seconds to reach Mach 1, or the speed of sound. The entire mission takes just under two hours from launch through IS-14 separation. Seconds. Vehicle internal. Launch sequencer start. Securing Centaur LH2. One minute. Securing Centaur LH2. One minute thirty seven seconds. Launch enabled. AFTS armed. minute 20 seconds. Orca's armed. FTS count started. And valves locked. Minus 40 seconds. Stable at step three. T minus 25 seconds. Status check. Go, Atlas. Go, Centaur. 20. 15 seconds. This is Atlas Mission Control at T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Atlas engine ignition with zero. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying Inelsat 14 for Inelsat and Lockheed Martin Commercial Launch Services. You're now hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing Pitch flight and commentary. Are in. Let's listen in for the mission's progress. Vehicle controlling normally. And we have a nominal peak boost phase SRB pressure. And we have a throttle down to 64% on the RD-180. Everything looking good. SRB is continuing to burn normally, trailing down to the sustained pressure level as expected. We've reached that sustained pressure level. Expecting to throttle up any minute now. The vehicle uh, 
approximately 10 seconds ago has successfully passed through Mach 1 and Max Q. We have now throttled up to 70% thrust, coming up on SRB burnout in approximately 20 seconds. PU is controlling normally. Good steady state operating pressures on the RD-180. Vehicle dynamics are looking good. And we are proceeding right down the middle of the range track. Everything looks good. We are trailing off on all three SRBs at right as expected. We are now throttling up to 100% rated thrust on the RD-180. We have had full burnout on the SRBs. Everything looking good. We expect SRB jettison in approximately 25 seconds. Vehicle control continues to be good. Coming up on 10 seconds to SRB jettison. Continuing to see 100% throttle level on the RD-180. At SRB 1 and 2 jet, SRB 3 jet, everything looking good. RD-180 continues to operate as expected. Next mark event we're looking for is firing the power valves to activate the Centaur Reaction Control System. Expect to see that activity in approximately 15 seconds. And we're seeing expected activity on the PU system, on the booster main engine. And we have fired the power valve, activating the reaction control system. Bottle pressures are coming up as expected. Approaching the point, we're expecting to throttle down to 95% thrust, and we've achieved that throttle segment change. Everything looking good. Vehicle dynamics are right as we expect to see them. Next mark event we're looking for is entering our constant 4.1 G acceleration phase. Expect to have that in 30 seconds. Vehicle is now 43 nautical miles in altitude, 138 nautical miles down range, traveling at 7,900 miles per hour. And we're approaching the point, we're entering our 4.1G throttle phase, and we've entered that phase right as expected. Next mark event we're looking for is boost phase chill down in 10 seconds. Engine is throttling as expected. And we've started boost phase chill down right on time. Engine throttle profile looks good. Another 10 seconds in boost phase chill. We're approaching Beco. We are 10 seconds to booster engine cutoff. And we've terminated boost phase chill down. Approaching cutoff on the RD-180. And RD-180 engine cutoff. Three pressure switches indicate nominal cutoff. We have stage separation. Good brake wires. We have pre-start on fuel and locks. Ignition. Full thrust. Center main engine is up and running normally. Good steady state operating pressure levels. Coming up on fairing jettison. And we've had fairing jettison right on time. Both brake wires actuated as expected for the payload fairing.